holidaymakers in cities across southern Europe have been sprayed by water pistols by protesters seeking to draw attention to rising housing costs and the environmental toll of mass tourism. 유럽 남부 여러 도시에서 대규모 관광으로 촉발된 주거비 급등 및 환경 문제를 비판하는 시위가 이어진 가운데 일부 관광객들은 시위대가 쏜 물총에 맞기도 한 것으로 알려졌습니다. Some Korean tourists in the southern, southern cities have uh, complained about being shot or fired out but with the water, water guns. Uh, yeah, yeah, now it should be so. There are worse ways to protest, I think. I think yeah. they're, they're, they're doing it safely, but they're making right. a point. Mm-hmm. And it's all over Western Europe. We're talking Venice, Milan, Lisbon, San Sebastian, Valencia, Barcelona, and the Balearic Islands, all on June 15th, had these large-scale demonstrations by the southern Europe against touristif- touristification. Which is mm. not a word I say so often. So over tourism, mass exactly. tourism. Um, yep. We've seen last year we had uh, we had in Barcelona similar protests uh, with water being sprayed on people, mm. um, and it's a way for them to say over tourism is too much for us. Yeah. Um, and we've had issues in Spain, for example, with people not being able to afford housing because houses and apartments are being rented out short term for tourists for visitors. So uh, there's a lot of um, displeasure among some local people about the over tourism in these areas yeah over well, holiday makers there um, are you know they're not obviously protesting in fact some of them are being attacked yeah they're being protested against yes um holiday maker for me feels quite british mm. um because we use the word holiday in the uk not just to mean christmas or easter or chief sock but to mean taking a trip somewhere for pleasure. What North Americans call vacation. Exactly. So I guess in America, a holiday maker would be a vacationer. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Mm. So a holiday maker is not someone who's making anything, mm. but that just means they're going on a trip for pleasure. Holiday maker or vacationer 다 마찬가지고 지역에 따라서 좀 다르게 표현을 하는데 보통 이제 방학도 어, 미국 에서는 미국이랑 캐나다에서는 vacation, 영국에서는 holiday라고 하고요. 네. 북미권에서 holiday라고 하면은 제일 많이 떠오르는 게 Christmas 명절이에요. Yeah, or Thanksgiving. 네, 네, Happy 네. holidays. 네, 이렇게 어, holiday라는 단어가 여러 가지 의미가 있는데 holiday maker는 그냥 이제 휴가를 떠난 사람들이 되겠습니다. 관광객이라고 해도 되겠고요. While well, the protesters are trying to draw attention. Now, Sue, I think this phrase is very important, and I'd like us to take a close and in-depth look at draw attention to. Really? Now, have I have I grabbed your focus? Are you, you have. Are you now concentrating on this phrase? I am so into this, you know, I want to know. Then I've drawn attention to yes. it. <laughs> yes, if you draw attention to something, you're pulling the focus to that thing. Mm. Um, so it might be uh, a scientist is drawing attention to a new species they found, yeah. or it might be a politician drawing attention to a problem. Or it might be Sue drawing attention to a grammatical mistake. Mm-hmm. Drawing means pulling in this case. So you can draw attention, uh, you can draw crowds. Uh, what else can you draw? Uh, sometimes case? on the radio, I draw focus. Okay. Listeners should be listening to you, but I make a silly joke. No, no, that's good. <laughs> so drawing and 이렇게 끌어당기는 그런 의미가 네. 있어요. 그래서 draw attention이라는 것은 사람들의 이목을 집중시킨다라는 의미로 볼수 있겠고, draw focus 아니면 draw crowds라고 하면은 사람들의 역시 나 집중이네요. 어, 집중하게끔 하는 것 아니면은 사람들이 많이 몰려들게 하는 것들을 또 drawing something이라고 하죠. Yeah, if you're an entrepreneur, you want to draw investors. Oh, that's good. Yes, 맞아요. 어, 투자자들을 또 이제 음, 끌어당기는 네. 그런 사업을 하면 좋죠. 투자금을 많이 받고 어, 사업을 크게 확장시킬 수 있을 테니까. So draw의 의미가 그렇게 어, 끌어당기다인데 여기서 so draw attention이라는 것은 관심을 끈다는 뜻입니다. That's what the protesters are doing with the water pistols. 물총을 yeah. 가지고. I mean, uh. not pleasant for those who were protested at, but mm. certainly not as dangerous as some other protests we've seen around the world. Exactly. 자, 다시 한번 그러면 읽어보겠습니다. Holiday makers in cities across southern Europe have been sprayed by water pistols by protesters seeking to draw attention to rising housing costs and the environmental toll of mass tourism. 
Let's move on to the next headline. Asteroid 2024 YR4 is back in the spotlight after NASA reported a slight increase in its chances of hitting the moon in 2032, with the odds now at 4.3%. 소행성 2024 YR4가 2032년에 달과 충돌할 가능성이 최초 발견 당시보다 다수 높아진 4.3%라고 미국 항공 우주국 나사가 발표함에 따라 해당 소행성에 다시 관심이 쏠리고 있습니다. So initially when they discovered this asteroid, I think they said the chances of it hitting uh, the moon or the earth um, was like 1% or something. Yeah, very very yeah. low, but yeah. in January and February after it was discovered at the end of December, mm. those odds went up from mm. 1 to 1.2% and then to 3. 1% and now it's 4.3% that it will hit the moon and it could still possibly hit the earth. The chances are just getting higher and higher. Yeah, good news for us though mm. is that we are probably not in the potential impact zone. Right. It's eastern Pacific, northern South America, Africa and southern Asia. However, mm. if it does crash into the earth, we could see all sorts of tsunamis. Um if it hits a city there could be well some minor structural damage. It's because it, it's quite big. Well, it's as big as a 10-story building they say. Big as an apartment block. Mm, yeah, 50 53 to 67 meters uh, wide. Yeah. But we shall have to wait and see. It's still a low chance that yes. it will hit us. 4% and, uh, is still low. And I have to say, there have been many asteroids and meteors in the past that have supposedly been going to hit us and then never did. Right, right. So I don't think we can panic quite yet. Um, mm, 어, 뭐, 여전히 4.3%도 충돌 가능성으로 봤을 때는 낮은 확률이기 때문에, 뭐, 달과 충돌할 가능성이 많지는 않지만, 그래도 애초에 얘기했던 뭐한 1% 정도에서 2%, 3% 계속 지금 확률이 올라가고 있는 모습이기 때문에, 오, 이러다 진짜 충돌하는 거 아니야. 더군다나 이 아스트로이드의 크기가 10층 건물 정도나 되는 꽤나 큰 아스트로이드라고 합니다. 그래서 걱정을 하고는 있지만 But if you flip this around, there's still like a 95% chance it will not collide with yeah. the moon. And we've always got Earth. Ben yeah. Affleck to go up there and save the world. <웃음> what movie was that? Armageddon. Armageddon, yes. <웃음> Oh okay, uh, it's back in the spotlight. Ah, uh, yes. If something is or someone is back in the spotlight, it means the attention is on them again, or they're mm. famous again. For example, if you pay attention to K dramas, Squid Game is back in the spotlight because the uh, third and final part of it is coming out, and they've been doing lots of press, right. which means the attention, the focus has been drawn towards mm. them. Hence, back in the spotlight. Mm-hmm. So back means. It has returned. Yeah, was there at one point, then yep. wasn't, and now is again. Mm, exactly. There are many songs with the word back in it. Um, back for good. Yes. That means um, I've returned and this time I'm going to stay with you forever, basically. Exactly. The Beatles back in the USSR uh-huh. and then they return to the Soviet Union. Right, exactly. So, oh, back to the future. That well, it's means... not a song, but a movie. <laughs> no, that's true. It's not a song. Sorry. In pop culture. Yes. Uh, so Back to the Future means, uh, was it Marty? Uh, Marty you... McFly. Yeah. He gets the kid to go back into the future. No, he doesn't. No? Doc Brown. Oh, sorry. Doc Brown needs to be saved by Marty McFly, who goes to the past. I don't remember. And then gets stuck and so has to go back to the future um, again, which is the present that was the present, but is now the future because in the past. Yes. I don't know why I make references to things that I'm not sure of. <laughs> neither, do, neither do I, but I, but yet I will sit here and explain them for you. Well, you see, I, I rely on you and I know that you will know. Uh, okay. Back. back to the drawing board. Back to, back to the expression. So, it's a back. 라는 게 다시라는 의미가 있다는 거잘 아시죠? Back in the spotlight는 다시 주목을 받는다. Now, what's a slight thing? Well, here we talk about a slight increase means a small increase. Mm. Yes, whenever we hear the word slight, it's going to be weak or small. When we refer to a person, a slight person will be someone who's very thin, yep. not muscular, feeling like they're quite weak. Mm. So think of slight being small, and that'll serve you right each 약간의 time. 약간의 이런 뜻이 있거든요. 그래서 지금 이제 충돌 달과의 충돌 가능성이 약간 높아졌어요. 어, 기존에 한 3% 정도 때였다가 지금 이제 4.3%의 확률이 있다라고 얘기가 되고 있는데 처음에는 또한 1% 때였단 말이죠. 그래 가지고 네. 조금씩 조금씩 이게 올라가고 있어요. The odds of it colliding with the moon are going up but ever so slightly. Yes, yeah. and it's 2032. We've got 7 years to go. That's right. 
who knows how the chances will go up or down during that time. Who knows where the world will be in seven years? right. Here's the headline again. Asteroid 2024YR4 is back in the spotlight after NASA reported a slight increase in its chances of hitting the moon in 2032, with the odds now at 4.3%. Let's move on to the final headline. The world's first store dedicated to humanoid AI robots is set to open in Beijing this August, establishing a service system that covers the entire life cycle of embodied intelligent robots. 중국 베이징에서 세계 최초의 휴머노이드 로봇 전문 매장이 오는 8월에 문을 열 예정이며 이로써 일명 최화지능 로봇의 모든 단계를 담당하는 서비스 시스템이 구축될 거라는 소식이 전해졌습니다. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's going to be full service. It's going to be 4S, as they say. If you're familiar with um, with automobile stores, with car stores, mm, what's that? Um, 4S. The, the 4S is sales, service, spare parts, and surveys. Uh-huh. Um, so basically, everything you need for your AI robot mm. will be available there. I'm not sure what these robots will be, but certainly it'll be your one-stop shop. Mm. Um, where you can get your hands on experiences, you can see what things are like, and uh, well, it's in an area that's really hot when it comes to robotics. It's in Yizhuang, which is where they have over 300 robotics and smart manufacturing enterprises. We'll see what happens. I yeah. mean, it's the first of its kind. Will it be a huge hit? Will it be a huge flop? Only time will tell. Mm, 그래요. 여기서 이제 4S 서비스를 제공할 거다라고 했는데요. 이거 각각의 S를 우리말로 번역을 해보면은 어, sales, 판매, 그 다음에는 service. 어, 뭐 이거는 또뭐 수리가 되겠죠. 그 다음에 spare parts, 부품 교체. 그리고 survey는 어 이제 사용자 피드백 이런 게될 텐데 그런 것들을 모두 다 다루고 있는 4S 스토어가 8월에 열릴 예정이라고 합니다. I offer a 4D service. What's the 4Ds? Dine on delicious donuts daily. Of course you had to have a donut in there. Okay, let's have a look at the word dedicated to something. I'm, I'm dedicated to donuts, which means my sole focus in life is on donuts. Mm. If something is dedicated or if someone is dedicated to something, that means they are concentrating on that thing, usually only that thing. So if you have a store dedicated to a particular product, that's all they sell. They're mm. not going to sell anything else. If you have a store dedicated to electronics, you're not going to be able to buy apple juice there or teddy bears. Mm. You have to go to a different place. Well, more 전용이네요. 그러면은 something dedicated to humanoid AI robots. 이거는 humanoid 인간의 그 형체를 하고 있는 AI 로봇 전용 매장이란 뜻이고. What about embodied? Oh, this is a curious term. This is a, a, a term being used in a slightly different way these days because yeah. we talk about embodied robots or embodied AI robots, mm. meaning that they're computers or AI that have a physical body. Mm. However, when we use the word embody, usually we're talking about something is a representation of something or shows the spirit of something. Yeah, uh, embody라는 단어가 지금 여기서는 그. 체화, 뭐 체현이라는 의미로 그러니까 어떤 인간의 형체를 하고 있다라는 뜻으로 썼다고 볼수 있겠죠. 그렇지만 기존에 우리가 쓰던 embody라는 단어는 휴머노이드가 없던 시절을 또 많이 썼단 말이에요. 그럴 때는 뭔가 상징한다 이런 뜻으로 많이 썼어요. 네. 지금도 그렇게 쓰고 있고. Um, so let's say this statue embodies. Freedom, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Or, or a person can embody an ideal. Think of yes. Martin Luther King and uh-huh. the civil rights movement. Definitely. Uh, 그런 식으로 이게 상징한다 아니면은 어, 뭐 보여준다 이런 의미로 참 많이 쓰기도 하는데 여기서는 embodied intelligent robot means it has a body. It looks like a human. Yes. Yeah. It's a humanoid. Exactly. Well, here's the headline one more time. The world's first store dedicated to humanoid AI robots is set to open in Beijing this August, establishing a service system that covers the entire life cycle of embodied intelligent robots. Well, that's it for the headlines.